So I have a friend who was using the Dexcom G7 and the Omnipod 5, but in auto mode. And she recently upgraded to the newer Omnipod 5 pods, which are Dexcom G7 compatible. So we were trying to get her set up and she ran into some issues. So I just wanted to walk through some of our troubleshooting in case anybody has that same thing, because I haven't seen a ton on the internet about it. So I thought it might be helpful. Anyway, so first thing to note is that Dexcom, Dexcom G7 is compatible with Omnipod 5 now, but you need to have like the newer, um, the newer pods that are Dexcom G7 compatible. It'll say it on the box of the pods and it's, I think your doctor can prescribe them, but it's, it's also just the newer shipments will have that. So that's the first thing. Um, now when she tried to connect her sensor, she was getting the sensor not found error message on her Omnipod PDM. And just to be clear, she was getting her readings correctly on her uh, iPhone device and on her, um, the Dexcom, like the, that external receiver thing that's like a phone or like a little external display. So her Dexcom was working right, but her Omnipod wasn't seeing it. So the first thing we did was we tried to have her just hold the, hold her sensor or place her sensor on her arm near her uh, leg, right as the five minute interval was about to be up. So that'll always kind of like, that's the point at which the two devices talk to each other. And if they're close enough to avoid any line of sight issues, that might solve the issue. So that was the first thing that we tried. Um, so we had her hold those devices close together while they were on her body a couple times, and that did not fix the issue. The next thing that we did was we restarted her PDM. I was doing some research about uh, just customer support and troubleshooting and restarting the Omnipod PDM was the next troubleshooting step to take and that didn't work. So we then tried toggling on the on your iPhone or your non-Android device, toggling on airplane mode. So according to like their troubleshooting steps, like that would be your next thing that could potentially solve that sensor not found issue. So we tried that and then we waited, that didn't work. The next thing that we did was turning on and off Bluetooth which again is the next troubleshooting step. No luck there either. Finally, what we realized was that according to like the Omnipod documentation, if you are somebody who was using that external receiver with your Dexcom in addition to your iPhone, that when you try to use your Omnipod 5 with the Dexcom G7 compatible pods, you need to turn off that other Dexcom receiver. I think essentially you can't have three devices connected to the Dexcom at the same time, although I don't understand how that fits in with the watch. But anyway, we turned off that device and then we waited and then it worked. And apparently that is a known issue and a known thing that you can do to troubleshoot. So that was successful for us. And hopefully if any of you are, are struggling with that, that can help you as well. So just to recap, and just because these things, the other steps didn't work for us doesn't mean that they can't work for you. I would suggest going through all of those steps if you are experiencing a sensor not found issue and seeing if they work. So to recap, it was restarting or holding the Omnipod 5 near your Dexcom on your body, right when it's about to update. The second one was restarting the Omnipod PDM. The third one was going into airplane mode on your iPhone and toggling it on and off. The fourth one was toggling Bluetooth on your iPhone on and off. And then the final one was if you have a Dexcom transmitter or a Dexcom receiver that you were using to look at your, your numbers previously outside of your iPhone, turn that off. Give those things a shot. That helped us. Hopefully it helps you too.